Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm in East Sussex today. I've come to the village of Isfield. We've come here to do another episode of Miniature Railway Britain. Now, the village of Isfield is home to the Lavender Line. You're briefing on what's the standard gauge railway doing on Miniature Railway Britain. Well, the reason is there's a Miniature Railway here as well. So if you look there, you can just see the old level crossing gates. That was the line south down to Lewis. And then here is the station, and here's the preserved Lavender Line. So this is a section of the old line from Lewis, which went all the way up to London. North of Uckfield, the line's still open, but this section closed in 1969. It opened in 1858. So here's Isfield Station, and I can hear the sound of steam. Is that coming from a standard gauge or an arrow or a miniature railway loco? I'm not sure, but no doubt we will find out quite shortly, because we're going to go and have a look. So this is the car park of the Lavender Line, Southern Region Railway. They've got lots of diesel bumpers and everything, which I'm quite excited about because I should have got some interesting standard gauge haulage, although as I said it's a miniature railway video. Well firstly have a look at this. Something a bit different, little Belgian built tram loco, so we'll be having a ride on that no doubt, with a DMU carriage, and just in front of us here, that's a bumper carriage, so that's not the one that's out, I think there should be fairly soon a bumper arriving. So we'll probably see that arrive and then we're going to, but we're also going to go around here to find the miniature railway. It's called the Riley's Miniature Railway. I believe it to be a five inch gauge railway and it runs along beside the main line. So what we'll do is um, we'll go and have a look at that. So we're just going around here. There's a carriage of all sorts of junk and stuff. Oh yeah, here we are. This is the sign I was looking for. So it says this way to platform two and it says Riley's Miniature Railway. That's what we come here to see. But obviously we'll see the standard gauge stuff as well. So I'm now standing on the main formation, the old left crossing, looking towards Lewis. It's field signal box. Here's another thumper carriage. So I've never been on one, but thumpers used to work the line um, up until Uckfield. Up to about 2005, the line was still worked by thumpers. Yeah, there's two thumpers here facing each other. There's a little shop we'll have a look in there. You might do. And here is the Riley's Miniature Railway. A little ginty down there. The steam I can hear is coming from the standard gauge line. So what we'll do, the train comes along, we'll go for a ride. I'm not sure if I'm going to do the standard gauge line first or the narrow gauge line, but this is pretty cool this way. We'll have a look. So what I'm going to do, I'm still not sure which train I'm going to catch first, whether it be that one or the Riley's Miniature Railway. So I'm going to hang around now and just see which one comes along first, or which one departs first, rather.
That was a great little trip on the Riley's Miniature Railway. If you have a look, it's called Evelina Junction. That's because all the money from this railway goes to a children's hospice, the Evelina Children's Hospice. Um, the name Riley's Miniature Railway comes from a little boy who was born with a heart condition who um, basically has always had to live in a hospice. The idea is that the money made from the railway is donated to that hospice. So if you have a ride on the railway, you're not only having a nice time, but you're, it goes to a good course. There's the signal box there, the old digital signal box. Can go and have a look in there, but there's a family in there right now, so let's leave that for another time. So yeah, that's the railway looking towards Lewis, where it used to go. I'm going to wander up to the car park now, because what I was thinking was, the steam train has gone out, that little tram steam engine. If we're down in the car park at around the right time, we could see it come back past. But while we're here, we could perhaps have a look at this thumper. You might be able to hear the noise, the thumping sort of noise. And um, this reminds me of, well, I don't really remember these in service. I'm just a little bit too young. I lived in the wrong region. But I do remember once going on a southern region unit to Eastbourne and seeing them when they're around. Must have been about 2003. So I think it was 2005 they finished on main lines. But it's just really nice to hear it ticking over. I've had um, in my videos in the past the Hastings unit, the preserved unit. I've seen that out a few times. That's a narrower bodied version. So if you look there, that's like the guards compartment. And then this is the passenger saloon here. So you've got the network southeast maquettes. You can might be able to see if I put my camera through the window. So you can see you can't actually walk from one carriage to another. And then if we go up to here, they still have these first class compartments. Let's go in and have a look. So this is a first class compartment of a thumper unit. So that's it. Oh, very comfortable. The other day I went on an Azuma from Inverness to London and when I got back my back really hurt because of the ironing board seats are very hard and uncomfortable. I know there's all these fire regulations but these seats are so comfortable. I wish I had more seats like this on more trains. I wish trains had compartments as well. Anyway, um, what we're going to do now is, well the miniature railway is just out there. You can just see the station sign. I don't know if a train's going to go past. I'm going to go out in the car park though. I want to see the steam train go past. So let's get out again. The steam train's not quite back. The railway line, it goes about a mile up there to a little halt called Worth Holt. Another thumper unit. This is an unusual thing. This is like a laboratory um, rail car. So it must have been for BR. Member staff could do certain research within that little rail car. We're going to go back down here and we'll go out into the station car park where we'll have a look at the um, I do really love that sound, of the thumping sound. We go out here and we'll wait and see the steam loco come back. So, you know, it's, it's a very interesting place to come, the Lavender Line. You get a ride on the Gauge and a miniature railway. It's, um, well, it's near Lewis, it's to the south, Uckfields to the north. It's not the easiest place to get to by train, but I have seen quite a few double decker buses going past. So, even to, it's a Sunday today. So it has got public transport links, so you can get here. Oh, look at that. Now that is how I remember seeing Thumpers. See that livery there? That's the Conix livery. I do remember them running in that. So I never went on one on the main line. I went on the electric unit. So yeah, look, that's 205033. So I probably may have seen this unit on the main line. Obviously, it wouldn't have run with that front. It's been repainted. But that faded livery on the side, that's the Conix livery. The Riley's Miniature Railway went to just beyond past the water tower for Stanley Gates. Right, that was where we saw the thumper when we got to the other end. It's a nice little Morris Miner there. So if we go here, we'll just go up to where the engine sheds are and um, we can stand, hang around here, wait and see the steam train pass. Which, um, and then I'll go and have a ride on the steam train and ride on the thumper. I've never been on a thumper before, so it's be something ticked off my bucket list. So there's the other thumper unit, so let's wait and see the steam train pass.
So after watching the trains on both lines, I've come back round here, the railway's being packed up. I think the steam loco on the main line is gonna go on shed. I've had a great day here, really enjoyed it. So as I said, do you know do come and visit the Lavender Line and the Riley's Miniature Railway. And um, as soon as there's no one else in the signal box, I'm gonna go in there to finish the video. If you come here by bus, there is a bus stop there. So it, it's fairly easy to get to, you just can't actually get here by train without a bit of a walk. So this is Isfield signal box. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say goodbye. Thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. And from Isfield Signal Box, goodbye.